Hi, this is Rian from the Must Be Noob. In today's video, we are going to walk you through the process of creating a shared folder with advanced NTFS permissions in Windows Server 2025. Whether you are an IT professional or just getting started with Windows Server, understanding how to manage shared folders and permissions is crucial for maintaining security and efficiency on your network. Before we dive into the steps, let's quickly cover what NTFS permissions are. NTFS stands for New Technology File System. It's a file system used by Windows that allows administrators to set specific permissions on files and folders. NTFS permissions control who can access files and folders and what actions they can perform like reading, writing or modifying files. To get started, make sure you have the Windows Server 2025 installed and running. Administrator access to this server, a folder that you want to share over the network. Let's start by creating a new folder that we want to share. Open File Explorer. Navigate to the location on your server where you would like to create the folder. Right click in empty area, select new and then click on folder. Name the folder cells RO. Go to Server Manager Dashboard. File Server Rule must be installed prior to able to share files and folders on the network using this method. Server Manager allows you to easily share folder in Windows Server 2025. Click on File and Storage Services. Then click Shares from the list. You'll see the list of shared folders on this domain controller. As you can see, there are two folders, NetLogon and Syswall shared by default. This is because this server is domain controller. We want to share a folder named cells RO to cells team users group. We want only the cells users to view and execute the contents of the folder. We already have cells team users group set up and assigned users into the group. So let's create this shared folder. To create a new shared folder, click task and click new share in the server manager console. New shared wizard pops up. There are a number of shared profiles by default. You can choose any of these shared profiles as per your requirement. I'll choose SMB Share Quick and click Next. Now you are asked to provide the shared location of the folder that you want to share. You can select an existing folder or create a new one. You can also manually specify the custom path. Let me select the radio button, type a custom path and click on Browse. On C drive, we have created a folder named Cells Arrow. Let's select the cells RO folder. Click on select folder. Then click next. Type the shared name and description of the shared folder. This is the shared name users will see when accessing the shares across the network. Click next. Now configure other share settings. Here I'll check enable access based enumeration. This option makes the folder visible for users that have read permission on the folder otherwise the folder will be hidden. Allow catching of share options makes the folder to be accessed even when the user is offline. Select the checkboxes as per your requirement. Click next. Now let's configure permissions for the shared folder. The shared folder have two types of permissions. Shared folder permissions and NTFS permissions. These both permissions work together to allow or deny users to access this shared folder. Microsoft recommends to allow full control for share permissions and use NTFS permissions to restrict and configure folder access. As you can see, share permission is set to everyone full control. The permission shown here is the inherited NTFS permissions from the drive NTFS permission. To change the permission, click on Customize Permissions. Since the permission is inheriting, you can't remove the existing entry. To remove any of the existing entry, you need to disable the inheritance. So let's click on Disable Inheritance. Then select Convert Inherited Permissions into Explicit Permissions on this object. Now you can remove the existing entries. Remove User Group's entry from the permission. Now let's also remove Authenticated User's entry. These two entries contains all the users of the domain. We don't want all the users of the domain to access this shared folder, so I have removed them. Click Add to add the cells group. Click Select Principal and type Cells. Click on Check Names. When the name populate, click on OK. So we have selected Cells Team Group. 
the permission type will be allowed and this permission is applies on this folder subfolders and files you can modify the permissions from here as per your requirement at the moment i am going with the default read only permission click okay now the overall permission for the cells arrow folder looks like this users of cells team group can only read the files of cells arrow folder click on apply and okay to save the changes click next to continue review the settings and click create the shared folder is now created click close you can view the shared folder in the server manager console in this way you can configure shared folder using server manager remember ntfs permissions and shared permissions are different if ntfs permission and shared folder permissions are conflicting then the most restrictive permission is applied for example if you configure ntfs permission to full control and shared permission to read on a folder then the permission applied will be read only best practice to manage permissions for shared folder is configure full control permission for everyone and restrict the folder access using ntfs permission clients can now access the shared folder by typing the unc path of the shared folder in windows explorer let me create one text file under the cells ro folder let's access cells ro folder and let's create one new notepad text file let me give name cells notes and let's save this text file this is just for the demonstration purpose go to domain joint windows 11 client pc Let's log in using the account of Jondo. Jondo, a domain user, has logged into this computer and is member of the Cells team. Open Run menu, type double slash dc01 and press Enter key. Dc01 is the host name of our domain controller. You can see a shared folder with the name Cells Arrow on our domain controller. Double-click the shared folder to access its content. You can see the text file which we have created on domain controller. Let's open it. John Doe can read the content of this file. Let me close it. Remember, system group member will have read only access to the shared folder's content. Try to create a new folder under this cells arrow folder. You will receive an error about the insufficient permissions on this folder. Cancel it. The user is unable to create a new folder because members of the cells team group only have read and view permissions. Let's go back to our domain controller and let me modify the existing permission. Select the cells arrow folder, right click on it and select properties. Go to the permissions tab, click on customize permissions and let me modify the existing entry of cells team permissions. Click on add it. Let's give them the permission to create folders and append data under this folder. Click OK. Click Apply and OK to save the changes. Again, click Apply and OK. Go back to Windows 11 client computer. Let's again try to create new folder. And this time, a user John is able to create the folder. And that's it. You have successfully created a shared folder with advanced NTFS permissions in Windows Server 2025 domain controller. This process helps you control who has access to your files and what they can do with them. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like, comment and subscribe for more tutorials on Windows Server management. If you have any questions or run into any issues, feel free to leave a comment below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.